Here we have for sale, July 2020 on a 20 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T6.1 T32, meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. This has got the 2 litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine producing 150 brake horsepower and that is accompanied with a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox and this is the short wheelbase five seat Highline combi. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around I'll show you the spec that you get on a uh, short wheelbase Highline DSG combi of this age. There are a number of optional extras on the van from factory and there's also of course a number of bits which have been added uh, afterwards which we can also talk you through as well. During the video we'll go through in depth the condition of this particular vehicle, talk a bit about the ownership history uh, which is quite interesting on this particular van uh, and have a look at the uh, service history as well that we have got with it. So this particular vehicle um, I actually took delivery of this exact van uh, when it was brand new. So for the first year of its life from July 2020 to July 2021 uh, I was driving this as my everyday vehicle but it didn't look quite like this so I had it as I say factory ordered um, so it was in the complete uh, sort of bog standard factory spec as I say there are a number of optional extras so it's a very nice van anyway uh, but we sold it to a lovely gentleman uh, up in Scotland and during his ownership as I say he's uh, sort of personalized it and done a number of uh, little bits and bobs which as I say we'll talk you through so starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate tailgate is one door which comes up like so and glazed meaning it has got a rear window you can see here that we've got a lovely rear spoiler fitted to the tailgate the color of this van is called Ravenna blue absolutely fantastic color one of my absolute personal favorites in the T6.1 I think it looks absolutely brilliant especially when you accompany it with black uh, accessories like this one. Speaking of black accessories we can see that this one has got a lovely gloss black rear badge. We can also see that a very nice um, Leighton Vans uh, carbon fibre rear bumper protector has been added here as well. Previous owner uh, did add this nice swan neck tow bar and you can see the electrics under there there's 13 pin electrics just there as well. A Highline comes as standard with uh, rear parking sensors. You also get front parking sensors as standard on the T6.1 and one of the optional extras, the first one to speak of from factory, is the reversing camera which is a very very nice feature indeed. In terms of condition here at the back of the vehicle, and I mean generally around it, it is in fantastic order it must be said, but you can really see the glossy, uh, the gloss of the paintwork. It's in very very good order. There's very sort of um, few defects to speak of if I'm honest. It's looking very very nice indeed. If we open up the rear tailgate this is where things really start to get interesting on this particular vehicle. So as I mentioned this is a five seat combi van. So we've got five seats in the front. What the previous uh, owner has invested in here is a very nice combi bed. So how this bed works um, and you can by all means head over to our website Bridgen Vans to see um, some photos of this in its sort of different stages. So there's a frame here which goes down both sides and that is uh, bolted into the tie down points in the back of the van. So very very easy to install. There are then these crossbars here which are literally screwed in just here so as you can quickly unscrew those and remove them if you want to. On top of that there's these boards which slide in and then on top of that you've got this very nice mattress. So the idea being you can fold the combi seats down, fold these down on top of it and then you've got a full size bed in the back of your combi but you can very very quickly go back to the full practicality of your combi van. So in terms of versatility it really doesn't get much more versatile than this in terms of a van. In the back of the van then you can see that the van has been completely carpet lined with the suede headlining. I actually had this done when I had uh, the vehicle so I had it all fully insulated and everything behind because I wanted to get it as quiet as possible in the van. We've also got this uh, nice uh, LED reading light. There's a couple of pockets here on either side as well. And then there's more bits which have been done by the previous owner here. So we've got this little electrical panel up the top here. So the two switches on the left hand side, they control these LED strip uh, lights down uh, each end of the van. In the middle you've got a 12 volt socket and on the right hand side you've got a couple of USBs there as well. Underneath that there is a little panel there 
which is for the Eberspacher diesel heater. So they are a very expensive diesel heater brand. And the lovely thing with a diesel heater is that can be running even when the vehicle is not. So you've got the control panel up there and then down here, this is where you've got the, uh, the vent just there, which pumps out that fantastic heater. So you can set that on a timer. So even if the van isn't running, it can be used brilliantly as a night heater as well. You've got a couple of extra USB points in here. And as I say, this is where we can have a look then at the combi seats. So another extra here then from the factory is this leatherette. So it's a nice light gray leatherette. And I say with a black leatherette uh, backing to the seats. I absolutely love these. I found them so easy to keep clean. And I just think it's a really, really smart look. So how this works here, as I say, with these combi seats, the usual two plus one, which is actually an optional extra in itself, a two plus a one. Uh, you've got a number of uh, different options with these. So you can pull on this little handle here and that flicks the seat forward. And then you've got these cloth tabs here. If you give them a pull, that allows you to fold the seat down. Before we do that, in terms of condition of these seats, they're absolutely spot on. Hopefully you can have a good look at that here on the screen. But absolutely spot on, no rips, tears, cigarette bins, anything like that. All absolutely spot on. So when you fold the seat down, these are also isofix compatible as well. And we can do exactly the same with the other seat just here. Difficult to do with one hand when you hold in the camera as well, but it just shows that it is possible. So you fold the seats down like so. And then what you do is you flip the bed forward like this. So you can do that on both sides. And there you have it, you have got a full size bed in the back of your combi in literally a matter of seconds. So I just think that is such a versatile piece of kit. It gives you all this storage underneath here as well. So if you are going away for the night, um, as I say, it can be done. You've got curtains all around in the back of the van as well, included on the tailgate. And I say accompany that with a bit of extra power and also the Eberspacher diesel heater. You're not far off a camper. It's, it's certainly a day van anyway, but um, a really, really, I say, versatile bit of kit, which I think is super, super impressive. I say in the back of here, um, they've also had swivel seats installed on the, the front seat. So both of these seats completely swivel around. Again, head over to the advert to see the photographs of that. And there's some USB points in here as well. If we just uh, cancel this call here a second, while we're doing the video. If we open up the front of the van, then we can start to have a look inside here. So lovely condition inside the cab here on the passenger door card. Inside the cab then, step is all very nice here. Uh, I actually had these uh, when I had the van brand new, these lovely Volkswagen rubber over mat. And then another optional extra on this particular vehicle is the cab carpet. So that's another factory option on here. Front captain seats then, as I say, these weren't swiveling when I had it, but as a really nice feature to uh, be added. And you can see they, these are operated using this little red handle here. So you push that down and then you can spin the seats around. In terms of service history, the vehicle has been serviced uh, here and you can see uh, mileage uh, there was 15,768 miles and that was on the 10th of February 2022 so lovely to see that it has got service history with it as well I'll talk to you a bit more about the spec inside there when we go around to the side uh, lovely 20 inch uh, alloy wheels fitted on this particular van but having a good look here down the passenger side of the vehicle you can just see how clean and straight this van is in very very good condition indeed we've got very nice sidebars which have been added and of course the roof bars and there's also a vanex awning rail there as well so you could put a little driveway awning that type of thing on the side of there if you wanted to but i just think that is such a clean looking van i love the way the alloys tie in with everything as well and of course the alloys are all in really really good condition I think they look very very smart indeed. T6.1 then as a few styling differences so you've got this nice transporter uh, logo there in the front wing and then the front end of this van I just think what a lovely job they've done on the front end of this van. So we've got the 
Leighton Vans LVS front splitter and that comes with the gloss black lower splitter as well. They've also changed uh, all the grills here on the front of the van to gloss black so the fog light surrounds uh, the main grill here and then a lovely contrast in blue strip as well going through the middle of the grill and a gloss black badge as well. Another optional extra then on this particular example are the LED lights. So it's got LED headlights and LED tail lights. Just a fabulous thing to have on a transporter. Anyone that's lived with a transporter before will know that the standard lights aren't fantastic. So to have the LED upgrade is a big, big bonus. In terms of condition here then at the front, I guess you may find the odd stone chip here or there, but all in all, it is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm just see if there's anything that I can particularly point out to you, but it's looking very, very nice indeed. And then finally on the outside of the van, look in here down the driver's side. And again, just take your time to have a look at these reflections. Feel free to pause the video, go back to any particular point, which if you want to have a look, but as I say, if there's anything I can see, I'll gladly point it out to you. But it's looking very, very nice. The metallic in the paint is looking beautiful in the sun here as well. If we open up the driver's door then, we can finally have a look inside here. And have a look at the condition in here. This little vent, uh, this is to do with the diesel heater by, I think there's a, a requirement that that must be there uh, when you install a diesel heater. I haven't just noticed there is a tiny little, uh, sorry, very light scratch just there on the entry there. Possibly a, a shoe mark or something along those lines. Uh, it's complete with the bin, so it's nice that it has retained that. On top of the driver's door then we have electric uh, windows, we have uh, electric heated folding mirrors as well, so lovely spec there. Auto activated lights and wipers, we've still got two full remote keys with the vehicle. Lovely leather flat bottom steering wheel on the left hand side here, you've got your adaptive cruise control settings and on the right hand side here you've got your controls for the onboard computer. Looking at the mileage then, 18,240 six miles. One thing I have noticed um, in terms of a defect, there is a small crack here in the clear plastic in front of the speedometer. You can see it there just right in the middle. Uh, of course it doesn't affect anything. Let's say that is something that I have noticed when we've been going through this vehicle. Looking at the driver's seat then, as I say the lovely light grey leatherette, you've got height adjustability here. Of course you've got the twin adjustable armrests as well. And then if we jump in, we can start to have a look at the spec inside here. So another optional extra on this particular vehicle is that it came with heated seats. So a really nice option to have there. Uh, on the left hand side here, this is where you can turn your start stop off and uh, also your parking sensors on or off if you want to as well. Heated windscreen, that's the actual elements in the screen. And of course you've got your air conditioning as well. Seven speed DSG automatic gearbox, in my opinion, the smoothest of any van on the road. I think it's absolutely fantastic gearbox. And you can see here, we've got a couple of USB-Cs. I've got my phone plugged in there and a 12 volt socket. The reason I've got my phone plugged in is because this vehicle has got Apple CarPlay. So T6.1s come as, on the high line anyway, come as standard with uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So of course you can use your maps on here for your sat nav. You can listen to your music via uh, Spotify or Apple Music if you want to listen to your podcasts. If we go back to the, the main screen here then, go on to the radio, you can see that we've got DAB uh, radio just here. And if we put the vehicle into reverse, that's where you'll see the rear parking, um, rear camera displayed there as well. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but a really unusual uh, option on this particular one is that it has got rear ventilation. So you've got this overhead digital display here, and you can actually, there's extra vents in the back of the van, and you can control uh, the heat and the fan speed of the rear ventilation. So a very, very unusual option to have. We've also got the um, full uh, book pack with the vehicle as well. You could also see that the vehicle is running at the moment, it's all idling correctly as it should do. I say 18,000 miles, so still very, very low miles on this particular van. So just to quickly summarize this vehicle, I say it's a July 2020 on a 20 plate Volkswagen Transporter. It's the T6.1, which is the facelifted T6. It's a T32, which means it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight, two liter TDI, 150 brake horsepower engine with a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. It's the short wheelbase Highline combi van, so five seat combi. 
and then a whole host of extras. From the factory, you've got things like the LED headlights, LED tail lights, you've got the uh, rear uh, ventilation, heated seats, rear camera, cab carpet, a number of things which have been added to this, uh, as I say, from factory and the leatherette as well. And then on top of that, we've got all of the styling here that you can see. So front and rear spoilers, not just any front spoiler, but the Leighton Vans one, which I just think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, sidebars, roof bars, lovely 20 inch alloy wheels, carbon fiber rear bumper protector, black badges, black grills. Uh, and then in the back then, as I say, it's fully lined. You've got the suede headlining, LED lighting in the roof. There's a leisure battery in here for the uh, USB points and the 12 volt socket, which is in the back. And then we've got that fantastic combi bed. There is just so much to talk about on this van. It really is about as versatile as a van can get, in my opinion. Uh, and it looks as good as that as well. Previously serviced, as I say, uh, at the start of this year in February, at around 15,000 miles. And I say it's only on 18 now. Condition is absolutely fantastic. Of course, I've gone through uh, and had a good look around the vehicle as they hopefully the condition really conveys correctly on the camera as well sorry this video has dragged on for so much as i say there is just so much to talk about on this particular vehicle if you'd like to head over to our website bridgendvans.co.uk that's where you'll see the full advert that has all of the pictures the description of the vehicle so you can really have a good look at that of course we'll welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign we can take cars or vans in part exchange we can arrange finance on all of our vehicles starting as low as 7.9 percent apr and we can deliver our van nationwide as well thank you so much for putting up with me for almost 17 minutes uh, but as i say this is one i'm just particularly passionate about a stunning stunning van thank you very much for watching